Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm the Senior Exercise Physiologist at Healthstone. My job is to prescribe and deliver exercise programs. We have developed this seated whole body exercise program for you today to help increase whole body strength and endurance. Our elite athlete, Tian Taylor, will be helping me to deliver a simple but effective exercise program that is targeted for those who have visual or hearing impairments or want to improve their overall strength and endurance. These exercises aim to help you get moving, boost your energy, and maintain your independence. Hey guys, my name's Tian Taylor. I'm a two-time Paralympian with the Australian Women's Goalball Team. Today, we're gonna do a 10-minute beginner workout with my friend Rachel from Healthstein. She's gonna run us through the workout, so I'm just gonna grab my stuff and I'll see you guys soon. This is our beginner program and we'll go for approximately 10 minutes with our elite athlete, Tian Taylor, to help get you moving and boost your energy. The only equipment you will need is a sturdy chair. Place this chair up against a wall and ensure the space around you is clear of any objects. My voice is going to guide you through each movement of the exercise and I'll provide you with some tips and tricks to help you use the right muscles at their optimal capacity. The first exercise we will be doing is knee lifts. For this exercise, sit comfortably in your chair with your hips as far back as possible and ensure that your back is firm to the backrest of the chair. Keep your core, which is your abs and back muscles, nice and tight and stick your chest out. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and your feet flat on the floor. To begin the exercise, lift your right knee up towards your chest as high as it can go. Hold for a second, then slowly place your foot back on the ground. We're going to repeat this for 10 times on our right side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Now let's switch over to our left leg and perform the knee lift exercise 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The second exercise is called leg extension. For this exercise, stay seated on your chair, but wriggle down towards the edge until your bottom is almost off the chair. This is your starting position. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and your feet flat on the floor at shoulder width apart. Place your hands on each side of the chair seat. Don't hold too tight, but just enough so you feel stable. Keep your upper body still, head up and facing forward, straight back. Lift your foot just off the floor while you extend and straighten your right leg where your knee should be straight at the top position, squeezing the muscle at the top of your leg. Hold for a second and then return your foot back to the ground with your knee in its bent position. You should feel a slight squeeze and burn sensation in the muscle at the top of your leg as you're doing this exercise. We're going to perform the leg extension exercise 10 times on your right leg. Then switch over to our left leg for another 10 times. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to switch over to our left leg. Remember, when you're extending your leg out, squeeze the muscle at the top of your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work. We're now going to move on to working the muscles of the upper body. Shoulder flexion. This exercise is called shoulder flexion. For this exercise, stay seated on your chair, but we're going to wriggle back to ensure that our back is firmly on the backrest of the chair. Keep your core, which is your abs and back muscles, nice and tight and stick your chest out. 
Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and feet flat on the floor. Roll your shoulders back and down, keeping your arms to the side of your body, letting them hang naturally with both palms facing toward the body. Keep the arms straight and the palms facing you, moving the arms up and out in the front of your body. Stop the motion when your arms reach shoulder height. Proceed to slowly return your arms back to the starting position. We're going to repeat this for a total of 10 times. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try not to let your shoulders rise towards your ears. The last exercise of this program is called the bicep curl. Stay in your seated position with your hips as far back as possible and back flat on the backrest of the chair, keeping your core tight and sticking your chest out. Your knees should still be bent at a 90 degree angle with your feet flat on the floor. Keep both arms to the sides of your body, letting them hang naturally with both palms facing forward. Keep your elbows tucked at the sides of your body. Move both arms in a curling motion from the sides of the body to the front of the shoulders, whilst keeping that tension in your bicep muscle, slowly lower both forearms back to the starting position. We're going to repeat this for a total of 10 times. Let's go. One, two, three, Remember to try and keep your back four, nice and straight by engaging five, your core muscles. Six, Avoid letting your seven, elbows leave the side of eight, your body. Nine, ten. Well done, you just completed the beginner program. If you want to work a little harder, move on to our intermediate program.